Hello Vinyl Community! It's time for another video and um, as you can see I'm kind of experimenting uh, with uh, a green screen behind me for the first time so let's see how this goes. If it does not work well then there is a green screen behind me. I'm sure you don't mind. So uh, not, a, not long ago I've been uh, making a, another mix for my Mixcloud account and um, if you don't know my Mixcloud account, I will of course post a link under the video. And uh, this was a mix that was uh, with the Japanese music only. And uh, I still haven't put the records back on the shelf because I thought I would show some of them in a YouTube VC video setting. So here we go. Um, let's start with this one. Thousand Knives of Ryuichi Sakamoto, Sakamoto's first uh, solo album. Uh, this was reissued well, a couple of weeks ago, I think. So I just bought it and uh, I'm quite happy that uh, those things are happening now. Uh, let's see what else there will be reissued in the next month or years. Um, there's certainly a lot of Japanese music down the rabbit hole that uh, I would like to see um, issued again, particularly because uh, if you are after the originals you really need a lot of money. And uh, that is obviously a problem. Now this is uh, Futurista by Ryuichi Sakamoto. Um, so uh, Ballet Mechanique is probably the most famous song on this album, which I used uh, for the mix I was talking about. Let's show the back side here. Um, so this is, uh, I think Sakamoto did this album 1986 maybe? Yes, 86 exactly. That's it. Um, this is um, An Insatiable High by Masayoshi Takanaka. And this was uh, Takanaka's second album in 1977. Was it 77? I think it was 77. Maybe it was 78, but um, I think it was 77. Many people think this is still his best album today. Um, certainly a, a seminal record and a, sort of a gateway album into the world of city pop uh, that came to life maybe two or three years later. So this is kind of a precursor to that. So it's a very funky, very sort of a dance, danceable album to some extent. Um, and um, as the cover suggests, it's quite a good album to jog or to run along with it, which I certainly have done probably a dozen times. So um, this is a wonderful record, uh, one of the big classic albums of the late 70s. Uh, Japanese uh, jazz funk music. Masayoshi Takanaka, an insatiable high. It's a quite a wonderful record. Yeah, um, this is uh, Jolly Jive by Takanaka. As you can see, there is a bit of a theme going on on his covers. Uh, always very uh, kind of adventurous or uh, exotic or uh, simply uh, yearning for distant shores, so to speak. Um, the back side. Yeah. Let me just put it back. Now this here is Alone by Masayoshi Takanaka. This was one of his early records in the 80s, of course, um, continuing uh, with the rather exotic uh, cover style. Um, and uh, quite a wonderful, funky city pop album. Now this is uh, Variety by Maria Takeuchi. Now this has always been a rather important album in her catalogue, but uh, 
Interestingly enough, this has become somewhat of a cult album in the last years, particularly because of the song Plastic Love, which uh, suddenly kind of morphed into this internet sensation. Um, so you see this song a lot uh, being reviewed and talked about um, on uh, in YouTube videos as being this kind of a um, milestone uh, or this kind of a Cheops pyramid of uh, the city pop genre, so to speak. Um, yeah, so uh, this is uh, quite a nice reissue of the album. It came out some years ago, I think. This is a quite a good pressing on Moon and um, sounds pretty good. And obviously, I have used plastic cloth in the in the mix I was talking about which I certainly will reference under the video below it, so you can look it up. Now, uh, when we are talking about City Pop, one name just cannot be missed, because he's kind of the godfather of City Pop. Of course, that's Tatsuro Iyamashita. Uh, now, this is one of those uh, bit expensive records that uh, I can't afford to buy a lot or often in my life, but from time to time. You just do it, huh? You just uh, get on with the program and uh, order records from Japan, which is really uh, <laughs> an expensive and, uh, well, quite a taxing enterprise. So this is uh, for you, um, an album that uh, came out in 1982 um, and has some really wonderful tracks and it's very, uh, uh, very uh, it's a bit of a significant city pop album. Um, good example of uh, this very typical Yamashita's recording style. Now it's quite obvious that uh, he was strongly influenced not only by the Beach Boys, for example, but certainly by the whole uh, Phil Spector sound. Uh, so there is a sort of a wall of sound quality to his recordings. So um, yeah, this sounds pretty good on vinyl. And um, if you are into that kind of sound. So uh, Tatsuro Yamashita for you. So this is an album by Yuming and um, this is a good example of sort of a Japanese uh, jazz pop of the late 70s. Um, it's a very well recorded album uh, with a quite a uh, sort of a laid-back style and uh, kind of a early, early J-pop vibe. So uh, mostly kind of a jazzy uh, 70s sound. And um, it's a quite a beautiful uh, pressing that came with this uh, nice booklet inside with photos and. Uh, and some pages here, and so on. Um, so uh, it's always nice to find records like that in a very good condition. And uh, if there is one thing that you can say about this, uh, uh, about records ordered from Japan, is that uh, obviously people in Japan always knew how to keep their records in great condition. So even if you buy something that's like 30, 40 years old, you oftentimes you get this really mint, mint pressing, hardly any crackling and so on. Um, Junko Ohashi and her album Flash, I've shown this already not long ago. Um, yeah, put one. I've, I've added one track from this album to uh, to the mix I was talking about. Here a little little inlay. Um, so this is a late 70s, uh, sort of a early, early city pop sound, maybe more like a jazz, jazzy pop. Um, it has a certain, in some parts it has a certain sort of a big band vibe to it. Um, and... Uh, Overall, good record. And finally, I picked one track from uh, New Romantic by Yukihiro Takahashi. This was obviously Drip Dry Eyes, 
quite fitting for this kind of mix. And um, yeah, this is a brilliant album, certainly one of my favorite uh, albums by Yukihiro Takahashi. Um, it has also a nice, a nice, uh, nice uh, inlay inside, kind of a big booklet. But uh, I'm kind of lazy now to open the black sleeve and so on. You certainly, you certainly understand. So uh, that's it. Um, this was kind of my uh, my uh, quick uh, selection of some Japanese records I used for my mix, and um, that's all for now. And um, see you next time. Bye bye.